OK, let's have our next question, sir. Evening, Prime Minister. My name is Naresh. I've come up from London. My question is, why aren't you making the UK more self-sufficient in power rather than paying exorbitant prices to other countries, yeah. e.g. France? Right. Uh, Naresh, thanks for the question. Excellent question. <laughs> so, I agree with you, right? We need to be more energy secure, right? I agree with you so much that I actually created an entire government department for it. So for the first ever time, we now have a department for energy security, right? So it's not just a department for net zero and climate change, it's a department for energy security and net zero, because I think you're right. And the war in Ukraine just highlighted why we need to improve our energy security. So look, we are doing that, right? We're building new nuclear for the first time in a long time, not just the big gigawatt power stations, but we're looking at small modular reactors as well. We're investing in renewables. Right now, Orsted is building one of the world's biggest offshore wind farms off the East Coast. We've already got not just the world's biggest offshore wind farm, but the second, the third, and the fourth too. So we are doing more homegrown renewables. We're doing nuclear. But crucially, we're doing a couple of other things too. And these are a bit more controversial, right? I think that in order to have energy security, we need to focus on the energy we have here at home, and that means the North Sea oil and gas, right? Now, even the Independent Committee for Climate Change say that we will need some oil and gas in 2050, right? So the question is, well, where would you rather get that from? Are we better off getting it here at home, good for the economy, good for jobs, good for energy security, or are we better off importing it from halfway around the world with three times the carbon emissions? To me, that's pretty straightforward, right? That's why we've said we will keep issuing licenses in the North Sea. Right? Use our energy here at home. Build our energy security. That's the right thing to do for the country. It's a right long-term thing for our national interests. What do Keir Starmer and the Labour Party do? What do you expect them to do? Virtue signalling, and they opposed it. Right? That's not going to help our energy security, and it's also not going to help cut your bills. Because right? that's the other thing I want to do, is make sure that as we transition to this more secure greener future, which we all want, right? At the end of the day, we all have kids, we have grandkids, we want to leave them, the environment, in a better state than we found it. But we need to do that in a pragmatic way, right? And there are far too many people who view that project as something ideological. They want to race to net zero regardless of the cost on you and your families. I don't think that is right, right? We have decarbonized faster than any country in the world. Now, you might have seen just last week, only major economy to have halved carbon emissions. Who's that? Well, that would be the UK. Right? I'm not going to take any lectures from anyone else. So I changed course in autumn. You may remember, right? I made a speech. I got a lot of criticism for it. People came at me, but I said, no, this is the right thing to do. We've done more than anyone else. We're going to do more than anyone else. So we can do this in a more proportionate, pragmatic way that's going to save you and your families five, ten, fifteen thousand pounds. That was the plans that I inherited forcing you to rip out things, replace things before that was necessary. I said, no, we're not going to do any of those things, right? Because I want to save you those thousands of pounds. We're going to get to net zero. We're going to do it in a proportionate way. And at the same time, we're going to build our domestic energy security. That is a common sense approach to this issue. And I think it's one that I hope the vast majority of you in this room and everyone else absolutely supports because it's the right one for our country.